Welcome, 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 streamer nights, to tonight's stream. So I'm a minute or so late. There's Clementine. I apologize for being a couple minutes late, guys. I had an urgent matter I had to take care of real quick, but I'm here now. And welcome back, Clem. Hey, Cyber Turtle. Your turtles are doing fine. I'll show you in a second. Let me get the, our soothing music set up. <laughs> so what I'm being chased by, uh, you know, ravenous raptors or something, uh, I feel much more relaxed. Give me one quick second. We'll get it set up. There we go. Wait for a few more people to come in. Meepy comes in. Welcome, Meepy. Welcome back. Bees are not my friend. We're joined with um, Dr. Pepper's in stream as well. So he's trying to collect some bee honey. He and I just, uh, you'll see, we're going to use for the next episode, we're going to be taming uh, snails. Atachina, I think they're called. And in order to tame them, you have to use sweet veggie cake. And he and I just made like 70 sweet veggie cakes. Uh, very, very arduous task. So, I told Cyber I was going to show him his turtles are alive. Here they are. Jeez. Cyber's turtles are doing well. Everybody's actually doing well. I got a we got a little bit of work to do on the zoo. There's, we're still getting um, we're still getting uh, carniv carniv carnivorous uh, dinos coming in the zoo. Yeah, there is a turtle named Clem. Um, Clem and Steve were the names that uh, Cyber Turtle picked. So we have Clem the turtle and Steve the turtle. Our sheep, um, we had to slaughter one sheep for a, a tame we were working on. So that was the um, the baby sheep that was uh, born. He's gone. And uh, here's what we tamed with the uh, the little sheep that we slaughtered. We tamed this saber tooth tiger. It's pretty cool, isn't he? Look at that green. So we used the, the mutton to tame this uh, saber tooth. And then we tamed, uh, hey, streamers, I've been on streams lately. Hey, no problem, Clem, not a, not a, not an issue. I appreciate when you can make it, that's what I'll say. Um, okay. We tamed this uh, saber tooth that we tamed in, uh, in RG also. We found a 150 RG that we downed and tamed him. So anyway, with that said, let's get this, uh, let's get this tame going. We're going to go find some uh, dung beetles. So that's what we're doing tonight. We're taming dung beetles. Give me one quick second. I'm trying to find my body. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound yeah. good. No. The bees killed me. Well, kinda. I fell off the bird. Because of getting stung. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The good thing about the griffin is when you get stung, you're kind of on top sometimes. So you can just spam E, get back on them. Um, to tame a dung beetle, they tame with poop, okay? It's, uh, the reason you tame dung beetles is you put poop in a dung beetle and he returns fertilizer to you. But in order to tame the wild ones, we need poop. So I have to go pick up some poop real quick. Um, when you go around scorpions, the one thing you have to be very careful about, not their stinger, their legs. If you jump, if you, if I jump in the middle of that scorpion right now, I'd be stuck. My game character gets stuck on it and I'd need, uh, Dr. Pepper to come fetch me off of it. You played Scorched Earth and you're going to make the world scar? <laughs> Scared? Oh, there's some poop. There's some raptor poop. Meepy, Meepy should like this. we got some raptor poop coming. Give me some of that raptor poop. Now, the bigger the poop, the better. Um, there's also a poop button. So let's see if this... The patchy rhinosaurus, he might be a medium-sized dino, I think. Oh, we tamed a beaver today, too. We haven't put a saddle on him. He was a 145 beaver. Um, let's see if he can poop. Oh, there we go. That's a good boy. Poop on demand. Grab his poop. I can find wyverns there. Absolutely. They have wyverns in, in this game also, just so you know, maybe. And I'm thirsty, so let me take a drink. There we go. We'll get some iguanodon from Iguina. 
I, <laughs> I couldn't think of a name for her, so I named her Iguina. I don't even know if that's a name, but she's Iguina the Iguanodon. Uh, she has no poop for me. A poop on demand button. Exact. Uh oh, uh oh. I got smoke alarms. My, uh. This is hilarious. My oldest son is cooking right now. <laughs> Those are huge. Wait, what you need? Poop. Exactly. I need poop to tame the, the dung beetles. Oh. And when I say dung. What, what's wrong with me? Am I hot? Let me check my status. Yeah, I'm hot. Okay. Um. The dung beetles tame on uh, poop. You have to put poop in your zero slot. Oh my god, I got wild copies here. How nice. That's exactly why we got the saber. And Dr. Pepper is taming some... Uh, he's going to bring some wolves over. He's raising... That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> uh, no, the, the smoke alarms uh, where I live are very sensitive, so you have to be somewhat careful. Um, how funny though, right? Oh, look, another poop. Okay, I think we're ready. That should be enough. I always say that, then I run out of poop. I got two one and a half pounders, and then everything else is 0.3. I'm not real comfortable with that. Let me see if he has stimberries on him. You can also feed a dino stimberries like this, and hopefully he will spit out another poop. The, the Fiomia, the Fiomia is specially designed to do it. Some of these other dinos, you can do it. You spam the... He doesn't seem to want to poop, though, does he? Come on, you can poop. Give me another one. Come on, let her go. Make sure he doesn't burn down the house. He won't burn down the house. It stopped already. He's cooking me dinner, actually, which is very nice. <laughs> oh, come on. Poop already. Just give me a... There we go. I had to tell him to poop. Okay. Turtle poop is small. Look at how small the turtle poop is. It's not even worth it. Um, let's try the griffin and see maybe, and that'll be the poop, I think. There we go. What size is the griffin poop? It looks small. Yep. Okay. Good enough. Here we go. Make sure, what do we need to, we need uh, for dung beetles? We just need poop. It's that simple. Poop. And that's not from the SpongeBob episode. People order our patties. Uh, it's literally poop. Um, <laughs> so, here we go. We're off to tame uh, two dung beetles. Sorry about that. I was just getting my dinner order correct. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's very important for me to teach my boys how to do everything in life. So I've been... Uh, I've been teaching them how to uh, cook and clean and wash dishes and by hand, um, do clothes. I think he just popped in and said he didn't teach us to do anything. So he wants to feel independent at this point, so we'll let him do that. Okay, well thanks for jumping in, Meepy. If you gotta go, you gotta go. Have a great one. We're gonna get dung beetles. Now, the, the, the tricky part in taming dung beetles is not the dung beetles themselves. Um, the dung beetles are kinda easy-ish. Um, the tricky part of dung beetles is the animals around the dung beetle. They're, they're never like in a, in a really friendly zone. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to... I think we're going to have to try to move some dung beetles to a safe spot. Hey, MHM, how you doing? Blue Flood. Thanks for joining the stream, MHM. He's talking about Clem and uh, Meepy talking. I think. I think that's what Blue Flood means, right? It doesn't look like we're going to hit the 420 goal of uh, by July, what, did I, what is it, July 2nd, I believe. Um, but we'll see, guys. Maybe I'll get a flood of subs at the end, but we'll see.
Oh, and there's one sub from Ethan right there. Trim. Thank you for subbing, Ethan. That's so awesome. Let me land. Oh. And welcome to the stream, Ethan. We're a, we're a tight knit close tight knit close family. So, welcome to the stream. If you have any uh, comments, questions, just shout it out, okay? We're taming dung beetles. Uh, I'm flying over to the volcano area of Ragnarok. And what we're going to do is we're going to tame... Um, yeah, shout out to Ethan. <laughs> i got to find out that YouTuber's name, uh, the one that does all the shout outs. He does like 15 minutes of shout outs. It's absolutely hilarious. Thank you, sir. Remind me not to do to help when you do the bee taming. No, I'm gonna need you with your vast experience. Oh no. I've never done bees before. <laughs> me either. That's why this is not fun. I've already died twice. Oh, I, I didn't notice the death message. Maybe I was preoccupied. Well, one of, it said I fell. Or it just said I died because I fell to my death because I got stung and launched off my bird. Oh, we'll have to... You know what, guys? We're going to have to tame bees for the zoo, too. I didn't even think about that. That won't be next episode. we got to kind of work those kinks out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here. We're coming up on the volcano up ahead. And this area is very hazardous. There's um, Arthopleura. There are um, scorpions. There are... Praying Mantis, the Mantis lives over here. And so what I'm thinking about doing is clearing off this side of the uh, volcano area. And then I'm going to, um, what I'll do is I'll bring the dung beetle over here to tame him. I just want to look around this area real quick. See, it looks pretty safe and quiet over here right now, which is very strange. Um, so what we have to do is I have to go find a dung beetle now. And are you on WhatsApp? No, I'm not. I, what is WhatsApp? I don't know what that, WhatsApp. I don't know what that is even. I saw something straw poll the other day too. Another YouTuber he had a straw poll thing where we. I know how to do polls now. Um, there's a website I can uh, reference everybody to take polls as far as which game next or. What we're gonna do next, that type of thing. Are those dung beetles right there? Or is that a spider? That's a scorpion. And a spider. I'll have to look that up. Somebody remind me, me if you would, or, or um, Clementine, remind me to look up WhatsApp. It's a, yeah, this is the volcanic wasteland right here. I gotta watch my stamina too, that's the other part of this. And it's full of like hazardous creatures. Oh, I think I see one. See the the praying mantis right here? These things are just vicious. I'll show you right there. They'll jump up, take you off your bird, and start bashing you with their claws. It's not a lot of fun. And then you got the I don't know how to pronounce it. Let me check it real quick, the name. The spiders are down here too. Scorpions. I thought I saw a dung beetle over here. Yep, there's one right there. Okay, I, I see him down to the right here. Um, I'm gonna land for some quick. Is there two of them here? I'm gonna land for some quick stamina, and then I'm gonna grab that dung beetle and move him over to a safe spot where we can tame him with poop. Now, if he's a low level, let me check his level too, because I don't even want to try if he's like some crazy level. Oh, uh, where, 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 where? Scope them out. Come on. Is that a dung beetle right there? Let's see if I can get him. Come on now. There's the Arthopolera. Oh, there he is. A level 15. Perfect. It's an app you can text your friends with. Got you. Got you. I'll look. Uh, I'm, no, I don't. Okay, so there's a wild dung beetle level 15 right next to the Arthur. Oh, 45. A 150 dung beetle. I'm not doing that. Oh. <laughs> 
I am not doing the 150 dung beetle. Because he would take like too many pieces of poop. I knew I saw two down there. Okay, so let's grab this guy. We gotta kinda come in quick. Grab him and get out of here before anything bites us. You hear the battle music? They attacked us. Excellent, so we got him. This is the level 15 wild dung beetle. And we'll just bring him to this other side of the beach. He should tame up in like one piece of food, maybe, maybe two. But he should be a quick tame. And we'll set him up on a rock and get, try to find another one over here. Is that one there? They're over here. They're all over here. And right now there aren't any T-Rexes. I came over earlier um, and I was killing stuff, so I came over and killed a bunch of T-Rexes. Now the thing, this is a passive tame. I just have to, I'm not going to shoot him with arrows or tranquilizer darts. I have to sneak up behind him. Um, before I set him down, why don't I do that? I'll put a piece of poop in my zero slot. And you set him down. You hope he doesn't get aggroed on you. Like that. And he didn't. I'll show you, Ethan. Hang on. When we get back to the zoo, I'll go through. I'll recap the zoo for you, okay? Okay. Okay, I want to make sure my bird is on neutral and... No, no, no. Passive, passive, passive. Options? No, not options. Behavior. Behavior, passive. Yes, it was passive. And then... Okay, it's on passive. So now we got to sneak up to the dung beetle. And we just put a piece of... All I have to do is hit E when I get up close to him. Ready? Then you want to run away as fast as you can. Just like that. Perfect. So he took that poop. One and a half pounds. And now we got to wait about 30 seconds. Uh, ish. 30 seconds ish. And he'll take another piece of poop. He'll probably be... Let me... I can't see with... Let me see. I don't want my torch. Let's try to see. Oh, let me turn on the heads up display. Yeah, we can't see his tamed. When we get close, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep the uh, HUD on. But when we get up close, it'll show a percent tame, okay? So some animals you have to trank. Um, you shoot them with tranquilizer darts or tranquilizer arrows. And then other animals are called passive tames. You just kind of got to sneak up on them and feed them a berry. Or In the case of the dung beetle, you have to feed them a piece of poop. We're up to our arses in poop. I can't wait to have this zoo. I, I had somebody else look it up um, today, I think it was, and they said that there's over 100 tameable animals in our area. And, and I should correct myself, it's not just female and male animals, because like the dung beetle here, I don't, there's not a sex on the dung beetle. There isn't not a male or a female, it's just a dung beetle. And I'll be taming um, two of each. Let's try, he's ready, he's ready, let's go. Excellent. Name the dung beetle. We're going to skip that for now. I can pick him up. So this level 15 took two pieces of poop. Right? Now what's really kind of cool, you can ride these things out. And thinking about this, if he took two pieces of 1.5 poop, we'll go see what other dung beetles are here, okay? Um, let's set him on a rock up here. Hopefully he can stay safe. We'll place him right up here. We'll say... Keep right there, and then we got to tell him to stay put. Behavior, uh, disable wandering, and stance. We want him to be passive, so he should just hang out here now, right? Not oh, pretty there. I think these are absolutely. Let me turn off the HUD. I think dung beetles are um, really some of the coolest looking. There's ones that are very, they're like iridescent, and they they kind of shimmer and glow and everything. Um, other games I play, I play Squad, I play Rust, I play uh, Subnautica, I play Seven Days to Die, uh, Payday 2, um, Dying Light. What the? What the? Why is he following me? Oh my god. I forgot the whistle of not follow. When you tame an animal, this is good. I'm glad we discovered it quick before he died. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. 
When you tame an animal, by default they're set to follow you, so you whistle, press the U, U button, and that tells them to stop following you, okay? Or you could, there's a command wheel you can specify off also. Oh, the bird just did a poop. I'm going to grab that real quick because I need it. I'm nervous about the amount of poop I have. If that doesn't sound funny, I don't know what does. Okay, the 150, definitely not. I mean, it's a wonderful gun beetle, but there's no reason I should be putting 15 pieces of poo in it. I don't have time for that, for the zoo. Um, obviously, the higher level, higher level they are, the better they are. Um, the zoo just needs display animals, right? I do not play Minecraft. Um, I don't know anything about Minecraft. And I don't really, I don't think I would have an interest in it, to be sincere with you. Oh, oh, could it be? Probably not a lot of Minecraft in my future, but... Oh, come on, really? What was that? Oh my god, it's a Praying Mantis. I want this, I think this was a level 15 if I saw right, just like the other one. It was. Let's get out of here quick. What are the chances of that, that I get two level 15s? Did my bird just poop? I needed that poop. <laughs> okay, so this, uh... I put him on passive, yes I did. So I'll drop this dung beetle over here, like that, and go like this, and hide the bird real quick. Is he coming my way? He is coming my way. Okay, I gotta move the bird. You don't want anything near him that he's going to be aggressive to, okay? Because once you, once you feed him the poop, okay, I got poop in my inventory. It's a 1.5. I only got one more 1.5. Did that take two or three poops? I think it only took two, but let me just try to get one more. My bird, he won't poop for me. Oh, look at the Pelagornis. He came and landed right by me. Hey, buddy. The Pelagornis you tame by shooting him with trink, trink darts and then uh, knocking him out. Okay, here we go. Ready? Sneak up on him. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Feed him and run! Run, 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 run. And he didn't aggro at all. That's perfect. Okay, hopefully the Pelagorn is pooped. Somebody give me some poop. Okay, so we land. Oh, there we go. I got another poop from the RG. So all these dinos I'm using are uh, dinos we've tamed for our, our base, our personal base, but I'm using them for the zoo um, to develop, you know, develop the zoo, all the creatures. Hey, William, how you doing? Thanks for joining the stream. Appreciate having you. If you like Ark, we're building a zoo. We're going to tame two animals of every type you can tame. And I would normally say female, male, but um, let's try, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Not ready! No! No! Oh, he got angry. He got angry at me. I tried feeding him when he wasn't ready to be fed. Get on the RG, come on. So now what you gotta do is you gotta fly far enough away that you don't have the battle uh, battle music. Um, anyway, I, I'm taming a male and female of every species that has a male and female. The ones that don't have uh, male female, like dung beetles, I'm just taming two of them, okay? So... And like the, sna the snail doesn't have two speed, uh, you know, doesn't have a sex. So I'm not going to be taming two of those. And we have unicorns on the server. Um, one of the guys, Sigma, was it Sigma? Yeah. He actually has a unicorn, male and female unicorns. So we're even going to be taming unicorns for the zoo. The hardest part is keeping the darn uh, zoo animals alive. Oh, thanks for the sub. Thanks for the sub, William. Appreciate it very much. If we get the 420 in a couple of days, there's only a couple of days left, but if we get the 420 subs, we're going to be giving away a free copy of Don't Starve Together, which is another game I play. Oh, it made him angry again, though. But he's still tamed. He's taming. You can't see me, Mr. Beetle. I'm not here. I'm never here. Who put the poop in your butt? Or in your mouth? You're putting it kind of in his backside, aren't you? Okay, we got more poop. Good. 
So I'll be able to carry one of these dung beetles, and then I'll fly home with the other one, and that will be... And then I'll recap the zoo, because William hasn't seen... I don't think Ethan's seen the zoo either, so... I'll show you the animals we got so far, what it looks like, what we're doing. And from what I understand, I've been told that there's... I've been, One person told me there's 67 tameable animals, another person said there's 100 uh, tameable animals in ARC. So... We're going to be taming two of each species you can tame. Including, we might only tame one Titanosaur. Though. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to tame two Titanosaurs. Bam! Got him. Come here, buddy. That is two... Stop. That's two dumb beetles. Yeah, we're doing all the underwater tameables, too. So the giant squid, we'll be taming two of them. Oh, yay. <laughs> Even the honeybees, um, Dr. Pepper is one of my uh, tribe mates, and he's on stream right now. He's out testing out how to tame the honeybees. Um, we're going to be taming two honeybees. They are very frustrating, and they're not genders. So. Yeah, so we'll be taming two of them. But yep, two sharks, two ickies, two, um, uh, I hate those stupid stingrays, the bantas. I hate those things, but I gotta tame two of them. We have to build a water pen. We're doing everything above ground first, uh, on the land. We're doing all the land dinos first. And then we're going to do the, uh, sea dinos after that. Because we've been doing a lot of grinding. Um, Dr. Pepper and I just spent 30 minutes plus, maybe 45 minutes. Just making sweet sweet veggie cakes so that we can tame snails in the next stream I'm doing at uh, 8 o'clock I'm doing another stream. We literally spent 45 minutes making nothing but sweet veggie cakes. And that wasn't all the work because I had to grind all the sap, I had to, you know, you know what I mean? So there's a lot of behind the scenes work. Now, not with dung beetles. Dung beetles are pretty easy. <laughs> That's why I'm doing them right now. <laughs> My oldest son, I, I play this with my two boys. They don't want to play right now, but that's all right. Oh, we got lag. Well, there's lag behind the comments and the uh, screen yet. And I don't know what, I don't think I could do much about it. I have it set for low latency, um, which is supposed to reduce the lag, but eh, you know. Okay, my stamina is getting pretty low. Hey, Carlos, welcome back to the stream. How you doing? I remember you subbed, uh, just recently you subbed. Good to have you. I think you subbed, didn't you, Carlos? Yeah, I'm sure you subbed. And it looked like I needed food or water. What did I... Oh. How have you been, Carlos? Hopefully good. Okay, getting our stamina back. In the upper right corner, you see there's a lightning bolt. That's his stamina. We have to make sure he has full stamina before I take off so that he can fly all the way back to the zoo. So when we get back to the zoo, I'll, I'll land and we'll place the uh, dung beetles uh, just kind of in a general area. I haven't made a cage for them or kind of decided what I'm doing with them yet. Um, but then we will be doing a quick tour of the zoo to give everybody an update. No, no, Carlos, don't worry about it. That's perfect. Good to have you, Carlos. So today, on this episode, we uh, tamed two dung beetles. And uh, there was a level 150 dung beetle over there. I chose not to tame it just because I didn't have that much poop on me. Plus, I didn't want to have to run back and forth that many times. I might tame him for our, our personal base after. Uh, I'll have to see <laughs> if he's still alive. You found a 150 dung beetle? Yeah, 150 dung beetle. I'm cool. not. Do, I'm not doing it on 1.5 pound poop either. No. <laughs> I'd be there all day long. I understand you perfectly, perfecto, Carlos. Perfecto. Perfectly. Not one piece of your English I don't understand. It's 
So I picked kind of easy ones. I think I might do a Parasaur. Um, yeah, that's what we'll do. No, no, we'll do it. Uh, let me look what time. I have the snails next, but that's at 8 o'clock. We'll be doing another stream at 8 o'clock um, Central in 25 minutes. But we'll see how long this... Um... Oh, oh, whoa, 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 stamina. I almost ran out of stamina over the water. Will I continue to play the forest? Absolutely. Um, I'm trying to figure out what my schedule is going to be. Ark is one of those games where, like this zoo, this zoo's been taking a lot of effort. Um, more, more, more effort than I actually thought. I thought, oh, you're taming two animals, whoop de doo right? But then there's a lot of grinding you have to do in order to tame those two animals. So, and, and just protecting the base from carnivores uh, has been a lot of work. You see, we have plant we have plant X up here. Um, so Ark has taken more effort than I originally anticipated. Let me turn off my displays here so you guys can see. Let me land. I'm gonna put the beetle down, and I'll give you a quick tour of the zoo. Okay? So this is for William. Well, for everybody that hasn't seen the zoo. I'll walk through real quick, and I'll tell you what's part of the zoo, what's not part of the zoo, okay? So the pier, people can bring their boats up. We have uh, a dock. You can put a boat here and dock your boat at the zoo. The zoo is a PvE zone. It's not meant for uh, for fighting, so the zoo is for non-fighting, okay? We have lights. Uh, we can turn them on at night, and uh, it lights up the... Lights up the pier. You come down the pier into the zoo. And anyone who has ARC, you can come join the server. The server's open to everybody. It's a come play server, so we want you to come play with us. Um, Iguina, she's an iguanodon. She's she's not part of the zoo. She's just a work di dino that I have. No, Ethan, Carlos is a Spanish speaker, and he's using Google Translate to translate for us. So, Iguina, we will be taming two iguanodons. Iguina is not part of that. She's just a work dino. Um, you come down here, and to the right, we have concessions. So, we'll have food in the refrigerator for you. And then we have Jane, Jane, our admissions agent. You come into the. There's Jane up there. I'll turn that on. See, it's Jane, the admissions agent. And she watches over this building. You come in, you have to put one stone in the box. When you come visit the zoo, you have to put one stone in there. And we'll have meat. We'll have meat in the fireplace or in the uh, or in the refrigerator here. Again, we have lights. You come around this way. It says, "Welcome to Jurassic Ark Zoo." And our uh, we're killing the moss chops. Our first exhibit is compies. So over here we have uh, three compies: one male and two female compies. Um, on the left. We have our scorpion exhibit. So we have a male and female scorpion over here. Then we have three three raptors over on the left side here as you walk down the path. And there's, uh, I believe there's one male and two female raptors. And they get names, so if somebody wants to name some animals, if you see something called raptor, you think it should be called a certain name, let me know, we'll, we'll call them that for you, okay? What does the game cost me? Um, I think it's still on sale right now. It's, uh, fourteen ninety nine. Let me type that in. Um, hold up one second. If the Steam Summer Sale. Okay. So he asked how much uh, art costs. I think it's fourteen ninety nine. If Steam Summer Sale is still running, if it's still active. Um, then over on the right here, we have dodos. We've tamed two dodos, a male and female. And th th she has been laying so many eggs. Um, it's incredible. And then over on the left here, if you look up on the pole right there, let me see if I can change my settings real quick. Um, okay, that's not going to change anything. We have two seagulls here. They're ichthyornises. we got two of them we tamed, male and female. They're on the post right there. So that's the Ichthyornises we tamed. Then we have two Dimorphodons right here. The, they're on the post right there. Um, Dimorph I almost died taming that uh, the white one, the black and white one. I almost died getting 
Um, we have two sheep. You see the sheep in the distance? The Ovis. We have two sheep. Um, male and female. And we have two... Oh, come on. Really? We have two Jeroboas on display. Oh, what are they here? I heard something. We have two Jeroboas in the, in the pen. We have two Tortugas. Tortugas. Carlos knows what Tortuga means. I know it's Spanish for a uh, turtle. So I tried to pick out really pretty turtles also. So uh, I've got two turtles. And then we're going to, I think we're going to put parasaurs right here. We're going to put two parasaurs right here tonight. Um, and now we have two dung beetles. Look at how cool this one is. This last one I got, look how cool that is. Very nice. So that's what's, that's the, that's the animals that we've tamed so far for the zoo. And then the other animals you see here, like the griffin, um, Dr. Pepper actually helped me tame this one. It was a 150 Griffin. Can you ride a turtle? Yeah, yeah, we can ride them. We have saddles. Yes, see. And then the Apache Rhinosaurus, this beast. He's, uh, if things get out of control. Could I spend a little time showing you the squid? I'll have a whole episode on the squid. <laughs> I've tamed, I haven't hacked these in. These are all tamed animals. Um, nothing's been admin we have to tame all these animals so i if i go show i can't even i can't i don't even have scuba gear um so if i go out in the ocean i'm swimming on my own right now <laughs> but i don't want to I, I can't go find you the giant squid right now the zoo's 10 out of 10 well thank you william thank you i appreciate that and we're gonna have two of every animal that you can tame in art Except maybe the Titanosaur. Titanosaur might be the only one that we have one of. Um, because they only last for like one day or something, from what I understand. Okay. And we're going to keep growing the zoo. As we tame, we're going to have T-Rexes and saber tooths And we're going to have all the different dinos here. Let me see about killing this guy. Wow, he got eaten. <laughs> oh, wow. The saber got my train guards back. <laughs> Come on, boy. Let's go. Okay. So that's a tour of the zoo. Um, in 20 minutes, I'll be starting another stream, guys. In 20 minutes, join me again. Okay. I'm going to start another stream, and we're going to tame um, two two snails the at the china okay titan 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 uh ethan you're asking for the most difficult stuff <laughs> you want to see the giant squid and uh you want to see the the titanosaur right <laughs> um i want to see them also uh that's that's going to be a massive team the titanosaur uh, the saber tooth he's here to defend Dr. Pepper has taped some wolves we're going to be bringing down to protect the zoo. The beavers to help us get... Look at how big the beavers' back feet are. He's, he's got some big feet. Um, how do I join? Okay, the way you join, if you have PC, you have to have a uh, you have to have to a computer, right? You have to have a computer. You have to have a computer that can run, that can run ARC. Okay. Um, then you come to streaming... It's an unofficial, unofficial server. And you come to, you look for search, search for stream. Give me one second. Streaming, um, streaming what? YouTube, uh, come play server, I think it is. Something like that. Search for streaming YouTube come play server. And he's uh, Cade plays gave the IP address already. Thank you so much. Um, you're everybody's welcome to come play, and and we're looking for zookeepers. If you want to come join us and, and work the zoo and help with the zoo, by all means, you can come help at the zoo. Okay. If you want to come join the server and build your own base somewhere and and PvP people and fight and whatever, 
please, I, we want people to come join and come play. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna build this zoo up. I want to get the zoo completed, and then I want to maintain, maintain this arc. Okay. So, with that said, everybody, um, I really appreciate. It. This was actually a fun stream. I like the questions. It was a good time. And as always, when you're, oh, oh, don't follow me. Hold up. No, don't, don't follow me. Is what I said. <laughs> tell him to stop following as always when you're out there playing have fun play fair and game friendly okay guys we'll see you later i have another stream starting in 15 minutes and i'll see you then okay see you ciao 15 minutes peace in